Femoral fractures require initial treatment with traction. This gives stability to the fracture, reduces the bleeding and pain, and we demonstrate the Donway Traction Splint. The splint is packaged complete. It works primarily by a pneumatic system, extending arms attached at the groin, tractioning on a fixed foot. Let's quickly run through a step-by-step -step process on how to apply the splint. We assume you have completed your standard trauma management, including adequate analgesia. The padded groin strap is flattened and slid under the thigh. The plastic arms should point towards the feet when the strap is attached. The groin strap is applied to sit closely but not tightly around the thigh. It will seat into position when pneumatic pressure is applied. Next we need to approximate the splint itself and the foot plate to the patient's foot. The foot must be fixed firmly to the foot plate and this step is usually the difficult one. We show the foot straps laid out here showing the padded heel section to the bottom. This orientates the strap. Let's just look at that from another angle. The foot strap has a padded section which will sit under the heel and when it looks like this the fixation will work. Now carefully slide the foot plate up to the foot which will generally be exposed. The longer strap wraps over the dorsum of the foot and around the plate. Then run the short section on the other side over the foot and attach the two by their velcro. Interestingly this appears simple but is often the step where there is some confusion and discussion. It seems intuitive though once you've done it a few times, so just practice it. Now the unlocked extending arms are pushed into place on the plastic arms which poke out from the groin strap. These should easily push into place. Now we want to put in place the broad plastic supports for the leg. These are positioned up and down the length of the splint. Slide under the thigh and attach closely, but not tightly, across the thigh. Repeat this step under the calf and the leg is supported and protected against movement. We are now ready to apply traction by pumping the pneumatic arms so the gauge reads in the green section. The arm should slide into place and if not, just check that the lock mechanisms are not locked on. The groin section rides up into place and the foot is distracted and traction is provided. When the gauge reads in the green section, then lock the arms in place. The leg can be elevated by the arm provided.